Hey, today we're going to walk through the 3DMG machine guidance system uh, from Komatsu. Uh, first thing we're going to do is fire up our tablet, make sure we're connected to the Wi-Fi on the machine, and then we're going to open up Pilot App. That'll take a second to load. Hey, then you'll get to your main screen here, so you can choose between your machine guidance and payload meter. So just to go through payload meter first, when you open that up, you'll have your trucks that you've um, uploaded through your portal. You can select your truck, hit play, and start weighing. I've done other videos on how to do the payload calibration, so uh, feel free to look those up. As you uh, load your truck, uh, load your bucket, your bucket weight will come here, and then as you dump it into the truck, it'll populate here, and then each bucket will populate into the tile on the left-hand side. Going back to the main screen, we're going to go into machine guidance. Hey, and then this will bring up your main GPS screen. So we're going to start at the bottom here. So at the bottom you've got your front and back roll, side to side roll, and then your bucket degree. Um, you've also got a little hamburger menu down here. This will bring up your display changes. So you can go into here and choose what you want on the top screen. So if we want profile on the top and then 3D down the bottom, you can change that there. Or we can go section up top, plan view down the bottom, and then you can see um, your views there. Uh, we've got a mini map display, so that'll bring up a mini map of your entire job. And then the other one is your center. So if you're searching around on your job, you just hit that button there, it centers everything back. Closing that menu, um, we've got our display screen. So up top, if you click that box, it'll bring up the, the box down the bottom here. So this is where you can go single screen or dual screen like we've got here, or three screens, which is two, um, two guidance, one payload. And then looking at single screen is just whatever you whatever you got selected. You can come down here and change that to 3D mesh if you like. And then you've got a 3D mesh view. And then you can pinch pinch that out, move it around, whatever you like. Up in the top here, uh, we've got our benching. So this is where you can um, upload a benchmark, measure against the benchmark, see the difference, and then put in an offset. Uh, there's another video on that elevation offset so you can do that in here where you can punch in a physical number so you can go if you want to go 0.500 hit that in and then it'll raise the job up 500 it'll also become highlighted saying that you've got an offset in there um, you can reset that go back to zero you can also do it from the screen so we can go up right there up and down um, it's set up into and right here in the increment step so you can change that to 0.1 and then now every time you go up or down, it'll go up in 100 mil increments. And then same with the front. Uh, lastly, over here, we've got our uh, bucket exchange. So if we chuck on a different bucket, just select the bucket, hit tick, tick. And then now I've got the GP bucket on. Back to the mud, mud bucket, tick, tick, back to the mud. Dropout menu here. So service creation of the line work. Uh, quick service creation, so flat pad, sloping pad, and then this is your horizontal line indicator where you can select your line. I've done other videos on that, feel free to look it up. Settings, so project file, guidance, and then GNSS, you can go in there and you can select your project file, up update your project file, you can change the color of your background, um, set your in-trip or UHF profile, um, all that can do in the top three menus, and there's further videos on that if you want to go into that.